have 136 hours in Project Zomboid and I'm still pretty bad at it. For some reason, I don't know how to survive in this game. I play it heavily modded and I play with random zombies so there's maybe 2% of the population are runners and the rest are just normal zombies. There's nothing too particular that I do with the traits except maybe I make sure that I have thick blooded and I also really like cooking so I make sure that I have a trait that gives me some cooking points to begin with. Also stout. Stout is very important, I think. Yes. I also spend like an hour in character creation because I need to feel an emotional attachment to my character so that I can root for them and adequately help them survive. Which I don't know if you guys can relate to that, but I was rooting for her because she looked so freaking cool! It's one of my favorite games ever, and I don't play it solo. I usually play it with a group. You see, the thing about a game like Project Zomboid and how I have been playing a game like Project Zomboid is that you only really need to hone in on and focus on the things that you really like or are good at. For me, that was cooking. On top of that, I had straggler duty, which means that if somebody had like a horde of zombies after them, if one or two escaped from the horde and deviated off the path of following them, that's what I would deal with, which is an important role, I promise. Do you really want that zombie coming from behind you and biting you in the neck? I don't think so. But nevertheless, this is one of my first solo experiences in the game, because guess what? I want to get better. Because you see how I'm loading into Rosewood? The thing about Rosewood is that it is the most recommended starter location for a reason. I have not spawned anywhere as much as I have Rosewood. If I haven't spawned at Rosewood, I've spawned into a modded map that is even easier than Rosewood. And I still can hardly survive on Rosewood, so imagine what that's like. So what, what what's up with Rosewood? What makes it so appealing? Low population makes it so that there's not a lot of zombies. But the biggest reason is the fire station. As soon as you load in Rosewood, you want to run to the fire station right away, which is this big square on the map. When you make it to the fire station, you have an infirmary. You have access to fire axes, which is one of the best starter weapons. Or if you're me, it is the only weapon that you use because you don't understand how guns work in this game and it's a bit too overwhelming for you to get into. But never mind that. You get your fire axe, you have an infirmary for starter medicine, and then there is the kitchen. This kitchen is my room. If I need to sleep in game, I'll sleep on the dining table chair. That's how, how attached I am to this room. So I make it here, I'm automatically comforted. I need to commit a few sins, like, you know, cook meat without putting it in anything like a stir fry or a stew, which was very painful for me. I knew that I quickly had to find supplies if I was gonna survive. I needed more food. That was the most important thing. <laughs> in my head at least. It's not the most important thing, but in my head it was the most important thing. Because let's say you are good at this game. You'd probably want to go to the police station so you can get all the guns and all the armor. But you know what? When I gave that a little bit of a try, it was too populated and I almost died and it was a little bit scary. So instead I decided to go to Main Street. And what happens? I die on Main Street because the population was too much. <laughs> I give it another try, I do everything all over again, and I realize, hey, I still need to go on Main Street. All it took was a little run to the residential area and I found two cooking utensils that I desperately needed. And it put me on the path to having three meals that I could eat, which was enough for now to keep me going for quite a while, and I felt confident to try Main Street again. Why? Because there's more medicine there, I'm slowly dying because I got bitten twice, <laughs> I need even more food, so I need to go to the supermarket, and I need to level up my skills so I need to go to the bookstore. What is in the way of me going on this main street? The bane of a bad player's existence. Which a lot of people don't even use runners, but I insist on it. It feels more alive. I think that a few runners should be a part of vanilla. Just a little bit of excitement in the monotony of existence, you know? It didn't help me in this scenario. Probably shouldn't have done it. I really wanted to see if I could get a car working, and I wanted to throw off the horde that was chasing me, so I went into a house or two. And you know how it is. You go into a house, and there's zombies banging on the door. What you're gonna do, you're gonna escape through a window. I walk up to the window, and boom, zombies can suddenly fly. And boom, suddenly there's a zombie behind me. And boom, I'm boxed in, and I die. To be fair, these zombies are unbelievably strong. They won't die. I keep hitting them, they won't die. Probably my mods had something to do with that. I probably did something wrong. In the future, I'll definitely fine-tune it to make sure that nothing's messing up. But I also think this game may have been recently updated. I'm not sure. Let me know. But something felt really weird this time around. Everything felt even tougher. Or maybe I was just alone. And that was really scary. This whole experience was a real shame for me. I wanted more confidence. I wanted to grow stronger. After 136 hours, I want my horizons to expand. I want to move on from Rosewood. I want to be able to spawn in West Point 
and I want to be able to survive whilst actively taking part in combat and scavenging for stuff. And I want to be able to cook at the same time. I want the whole Zomboid experience, but today is not that day. I still have a long way to go in refining all the tinier mechanics in regards to killing zombies, in regards to moving around, in regards to stamina, managing moodlets, and overall finalizing a strategy. But when the time comes and I am taking on West Point, you will definitely be there for it. So stay tuned. <laughs>